I question whether or not you are seeing it or whether you're open to it or in what ways are you resisting or just like not even believing in it. Nine of Coins is a card of luxury. You can see it's even a purple card, which is usually a symbol for uh, royalty. And she's got, you know, a, a necklace that's full of coins here, full of gold. She's eating grapes. She's got like jewels in her turban. She's got the falcon, which represents, um, you know, it's a symbol of sport and wealth for certain cultures. So it's a card of, usually nine of coins means having um, luxury from being self-disciplined and having worked for yourself and earning um, enough money to have surplus and enjoying the spoils and riches of having had that self-discipline and putting yourself in a good spot. The fact that it's in the reverse position says, you know, have you been dipping into your savings? Do you not believe that you're capable of bringing wealth to yourself? Do you have any doubts or fears about being able to provide for yourself in a way that you can enjoy sort of like the lap of luxury? Also here, same thing with world. World is a wonderful card where everything comes together. It's like a card of being in the zone, in the flow. You can see she's also surrounded by this purple fabric here and, and she's free and dancing in the middle of the universe. All the different um, poles are lining up for her. This is the mental element, which is represented by Aquarius or the person. This is um, for Scorpio, which is a water sign, which is represented by the eagle here. This is Leo, which is the emotions um, and fire. And then this is Taurus, the bull, which represents the physical element. So it's, it's when all four elements come together, the physical, the emotional, sorry, the um, spiritual, and the mental. I, I spoke, I misspoke earlier. That's the spiritual realm. Um, so it's like being in the zone, in the flow. And the fact that it's in the reverse position says, you know, there's some sort of freedom of life that you're kind of missing out on or that's a little dampened right now. It's available to you, but you're either not believing, and that's what the sense I'm getting for you, Gemini, is that you don't see a way out or you don't believe, you don't, you're not believing in the fact that you can bring yourself enough resources and riches to feel completely free and just like celebrating your, the, the life that life is supporting you. This is also a wreath of laurels, which represents, it's traditionally given out to the winner of any sort of contest or anyone who is attempting a trial or a battle or a challenge. This wreath of laurels goes to the winner or the victor. So how is it at the beginning of the month, Gemini, that you're not accessing this? Because it's showing up for you. Nine of coins and world are beautiful it's sort of like someone's throwing gold coins at you. Are you going to catch them? Or do you not believe they're for you? <laughs> I just want you to look into that, Gemini, at the beginning of April. I also see that you may be initially having a hard time making a decision on something. This is Two of Swords, which represents dilemma or stasis, stagnancy. You can see in this card that she's kind of checked out, basically. She's having a hard time deciding between this sword or this sword. Usually each of those represent one idea. And so because she can't decide, she's just blindfolded herself and is immobile and stagnant, you know, on the way to just being um, non-active. So... This card, the way out of this is to take action. This is a um, this is a fire card, eight of wands, so eight of fire, and this is things happening very happening very rapidly. This is things eighty to ninety percent lined up. It's like when water is boiling uh, or is about to boil but hasn't boiled yet. And often this card can represent some sort of news or information that is coming to you. So this may be like the last piece of information or the last puzzle piece that you need to unlock whatever dilemma or struggle that you're having, indecision, um, stasis, stagnancy, feeling checked out, not taking action. The key to this is taking action, and you may just be waiting for another piece of information, but things can happen very quickly once this card shows up. Um, that's eight of wands, things flying through the air, information and stuff approaching completion. In the middle of the month, um, something is coming to an end in terms of how you think about things. You may have lost a little bit of innocence regarding something. Um, 
you may have needed to wake up or grow up or, you know, when I say full in the reverse position, that can sometimes mean, um, I see it sometimes as a loss of innocence or not being as naive as you used to be. Or um, sometimes it can be leaping before you look. He's He can, you know, on the low side, fool can be foolishness. And uh, sometimes I just think of it as young thinking or naivete and that that is coming to an end or how you thought about something your belief or faith in something is coming to an end you can no longer continue thinking the same way about it ten of swords is the completion of a cycle and um it's often i call this card uh it's always darkest before the dawn. Sometimes this card's also considered bottoming out. But swords represent the mental element. Swords represent thoughts, ideas. In this case, all the thoughts, all the ways of thinking, all the beliefs are literally killing the person. So this, you can no longer continue thinking this way. It's a way of thinking. It's a, a belief system that is ending or that must end. You can't can, you can't bring it with you. Um, and it may be sort of like this death of innocence or not being as naive as you were before. But what's great is it brings you to this newfound power. You have this newfound... Um, it's going to actually unlock your personal power. This is Magician, which is innovative, creative. He's able to take all the elements in front of him and transform them into something that he wants, that he creates through his mental focus, through his clarity. It's like when you eliminate all the noise and you kind of wake up from this dreamland or false beliefs or just even, I'll just call it naivete or innocence. Um, this guy is very powerful and very commanding and very very much in real time and has presence and is being, is, has a lot of creative powers and capabilities in a way that, that fool doesn't. This is a card of zero. This is a card of one. So you're going from, in some ways, having nothing to having something very definitive. But you you have to go through this. It's almost like a rite of passage where you have to let go. It's funny. I'm thinking of this quote actually from the Bible that says, um, when I was a child, I thought like a child. And it's almost like a loss of innocence, a growing, a little bit of growing up here. Um, in the middle of the month, you might be disheartened by something, but you, if you are able to let that go, you become this strong, powerful person and also very productive. Eight of coins, you know, means that you're creating money. It's a card of putting your nose to the grindstone and cranking out, cranking out product or money or creation. Sometimes it's an artist card and they're just like producing multiple works of art it can be a very inspired card, but it also generates money. So, you know, if you can pass, this is almost like a portal here, if you can pass through this and leave the old, mm, I won't say foolish, but maybe I'll say young, naive, innocent, uh, inexperienced part of yourself behind, you become this powerful person who's able to create quite a bit. And then Gemini 2, towards the end of the month, they're, you're going to be surrounded, This both of these cards, Three of Cups and Nine of Cups, are cards of feeling full emotionally. This is a card of satisfaction, feeling full, feeling like satiated, feeling satisfied. Um, and then this card is Three of Cups, meaning that you're surrounded by friends and family or like-minded people. It's a card of celebration. It's a card of, you know, in the rider weight, they're dancing. So it's... It may be through accessing your own power and being creative and creating your own money and wealth um, through potentially your creative powers or just through your hard, consistent work, you know, you become celebrated. People rally around you and there's a certain satisfaction that you're going to gain also in terms of new ways of money coming in. Um, Ace of Coins is a new lifestyle, new money, new job. It is an, it's a new seed to plant for the new life that you want to create. And I'm seeing that in some way or another, there may be someone that you need to forgive, whether it's yourself or someone else. This card, Judgment, it's actually telling me in, in line with this one, is that perhaps there's some way in which criticism or criticalness 
or thinking a certain way, having certain, holding certain beliefs about something is cause, is preventing you from being your full free self. See if you can let go of any sort of judgment, criticism, harsh judgment, um, See if you can transform that into understanding and forgiveness. This is saying in the reverse position that there may be someone that you're not willing to forgive. That you're having a hard time either forgiving yourself or having a hard time forgiving someone who's in your friends or family. They're trying to support you, but you're, you might be holding on to something. Um, see if you can let the ghosts of the past be behind you know, if there's if there's people who are rallying around you, see who else might be absent. Because sometimes this can mean there's family members, but there's old ones that have passed away that are showing up too, but in the reverse position. So see how you can employ forgiveness, and it's going it's going to be pretty satisfying for you. It's going to help you unlock this new life, this new. Um, new source of money, new source of values, new source of like entrance to this garden basically Gemini. So it's interesting stuff for you here in April. Um, a lot of it has to do with your belief systems in how it's either holding you back or not and what your decisions are based upon um, what your beliefs are. 